All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Raft, the world's most expressive series about hanging out on a floating raft in the middle of the ocean, trying desperately not to die of starvation or dehydration or getting the shit bit out of you by a giant fondly shark that I've named Chompy. Chompy's kind of a dick. So yeah, we're playing more Raft today. I'm your host, Larry. And this is a game, for anyone who's curious, that is free out on itch.io. And it's it's in ongoing development. It's basically a survival game where you have to survive on top of a raft that the only way that you have to expand it is by capturing things that drift past you with a hook. The challenge, of course, is to try not to get fondled by the aforementioned shark that is floating around at the edge of our raft. And God bless Chompy. He's a very patient asshole. Like, he keeps you company if he does kind of want to nibble off your ankles because they are boysenberry flavor. I mean, that's it's my own fault, really, for uh, putting my ankles in marinade for so long, but what are you going to do, right? So I just need to keep from starving to death or from dehydrating to death. And we're pretty much golden on our lovely raft. It's a, it's a raft paradise where you make your own island. So yeah, that's, uh, that's basically the point that we're at right now. I need to make some more rope. And uh, unlike people that post all that weird dark shit on... Uh, Facebook, I'm not doing it to hang myself, but to improve upon my lovely utopia here in the middle of the ocean. Everybody loves an oceanfront paradise. So I'm going to start out today by crafting some more material to capture stuff by default, so I don't have to constantly keep track of what's going on in the middle of the ocean. And I'm going to keep getting some more water to drink. Where did that douchebag shark go? He's around here somewhere. I know you're up to some bullshit, Chompy. I can smell you. I can smell you out at the edges of the firelight. But you're not gonna get me, motherfucker. I'm all stabby and shit. So let's see. I need to start building some stuff to get... Uh... To get growing things. So let's build the rest of this into rope. Got lots of rope. Got like 11 rope. All the best rope. Uh, I'm also running low on planks of wood. Do I have any wood? Nope. Lots of thatch. Alright. Well, there is a big old honking barrel. Maybe the barrel will be my friend. Oh boy. Yep. Got a couple planks of wood. Is that enough to build my little grow box? I hope so. Let's... Oh, I need one more wood. Well, at least by morning, I'll know it, I'll have at least one big old honking piece of wood. Am I right, ladies? Giggity. So that's one. That's enough for the grow bucks. Any more out there? I do see some stuff kind of floating over. There's one that'll get caught in my nets. I'll let that just get caught naturally by the net. Which is part of why I built those, because it's all- it's about working smarter. Not harder when you're a cast adrift marooned on a floating raft in the middle of buttfuck nowhere. I'll move these materials back into my inventory so they're out of my way. And let's move my stabby jig to slot number two. Let's have some more water. Honestly, you kind of end up eating and drinking a little bit more than I think is reasonable in this game. But... You know, that's part of the thing when you're developing a game, is you gotta figure out how much worrying about resource bars is too much, to be honest. Alright, let's see. I'll put this box between a couple of plots. Let's put it over here, actually. That'll do. And can I plant this... Oh, I have palm seeds. Oh, is that piece of shit? No! Fuck you, Chompy. Fuck you. You asshole, I just built that, you cunt. I- They need some, like, more gnashy no noise to, to have for that asshole, because otherwise I'm not entirely certain I'd know. 
Oh, you can plant quite a few plants in one box. That's cool. But as I was saying, like, it's not always easy to tell when he's biting the fuck out of things, so I find that slightly annoying. There we go. Uh, my food is done. Let's eat that and put another one on to barbecue. Beautiful. And then it's getting daytime, so I want to start gathering lots and lots. Ooh, look how fast these grow. Nice. I was about to say, I want to make lots and lots of stuff. So where's all my wood at? There's some wood over there. Come to me, wood. Let us play together and tell stories by the firelight. Is that all? It's hard to tell sometimes which net actually has shit in it, too. That is slightly annoying. Slightly maddening. There we go. Wonderful. Now I'm auto-collecting all sorts of shit. Let's have some more water. Yeah, you really have to worry about your resource bars in this game. It's almost as bad as We Happy Few. That game pissed me right off a lot with that stuff as well. Ooh, wait, 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 wait. I need that barrel. Come to me, barrel. Let us be friends. We have palm tree seeds. Does that mean I need to make, like, a palm tree maintenance box or something? Might. Is that butthole shark somewhere? There he is. I wonder if there's, like, a timer, so every so often you gotta worry about shark-related fondle. It's possible. But so far, I'm not too, too worried. Now, what sort of stuff can we build with this? We can make a floor. Place on top of pillars. Make a wall, a window, a wall with a window in it, or a support pill pillar. Important if you want multiple, and then the the sentence ends for some reason. Okay. Well, I'm not too worried about that right now. I'm mostly just gonna make like a big long platform to live on to start with, or we can put most of our materials to begin with. So I'm not gonna try and grab too much stuff that's gonna immediately get harvested by our... our nets. I won't worry about too much of this stuff to begin with. Let's see, let's just put these materials away, and where do, here's my food. Delicious. And nutritious. The best combination of things. And so, what do I want to build now? I suppose I should build something to grow a palm tree in, but I need a bunch of nails for that. I need, like, four. And making nails is hella expensive, like, massively so. Oh, this thing is fucking huge. Jesus, no, I can't put that down yet. My god. I need, like, a whole nother section of base for that. No kidding. Now let's, well, let's just grab up everything. We'll convert all of this palm tree. Is that guy? Where is the, where is Chompy? Keep an eye on you, you butthole. Let's craft up a bunch of rope. Can never have too much. And then we need to drastically expand our base. Foundation, pop you down there. Oh, I'm out of, uh, wood. That is always annoying. Yeah, I mean, this game definitely has the feel of a pretty good game, but... Again, the one thing that's kind of annoying is that you're basically just dicking around gathering enough materials to craft with. Which isn't necessarily a problem, it's just there's not enough stuff in between to keep you busy to make it feel like you're accomplishing things, you know? So, here comes some more stuff. I'm definitely gonna want that barrel. Come on, barrel. Be my friend. As I keep an eye on Chompy. Well, that's the wood. Kinda wanted more than just the wood, though. What is Chompy doing? Oh, here he comes. He's coming in. He's coming. He's making a break for us. Come here, you asshole. Let's 
So it takes about four stabs, and we killed the fucking shark. Holy shit! What the hell? You can kill the only danger in the whole game? Are you for fucking real? Does another shark come? Or am I completely without threat now? That is so great. Fucking love that. Alright, I'll- I won't question. Not a bit. Okay. Well, we still need to make more foundation for everything, so... And you- oh, we can just pick up barrels as they get close enough. Fantastic. Well, that means that we've got a spot that we can put our giant palm tree growing bed. Man, this thing is fucking huge. Is that- oh, I can only plant one at a time, it seems. Alright, that's completely fine. I'm gonna cook some shark meat. Jesus, that is huge. I- is shark even that good, though? Like, I know you can, in some countries like China, where they ruthlessly murder sharks for their fins, you can turn them into, like, shark fin soup. But really, the only thing that's good for is turning sharks into really sad burritos. Because what ends up happening with the sharks is that they don't kill them, they just take the fins off and push them back into the water. Which is really depressing. Like, they're just- they can't go anywhere, you've basically cut their limbs off. The fuck, China? You can knock that shit off right now. I want some more of that metal, if you don't mind, universe. There we go. Where is Chompy 2? There's Chompy 2. You sure you don't want to give it a try, Chompy 2? I could kill you as well. Your brother didn't seem to like it as much, though. Who would have guessed, right? Ooh, and I can harvest these. I got two raw potatoes. And I'll immediately plant more of you. And then, hey! Meals. My meal is done. Excellent. And then... That was fantastic for food. That was great. I'm gonna cook some potatoes. Yeah, at this point, we're pretty much just, uh... We're exponentially growing on our little island of murder. Like, now we pretty much don't have any threats to our personal well-being, like, at all. Now we're just making sure that we have enough nets out all the time to accommodate our ravishing hunger. Yeah. Pretty much making, like, an ocean-dredging murder machine. Reminds me a lot of that episode of The Simpsons where Mr. Burns dredges up the entirety of the ocean, thanks to Lisa's help, and then turns all those delicious animals into, like, a, a weird goo that is like a nutrition goo. Includes, like, ground-up whales and shit. That was great. I loved that episode. That's one of my favorites. Let's see. What else can we build? I guess we could start building some furniture. I mean, there's really not a reason not to. What do we need for a chair? We need plant fiber and nails and wood. Which we're about to get plenty of plant fiber, so nothing to worry about there. What do you get from a palm tree? Coconuts, probably? I'm gonna guess coconuts. Oh, that barrel, it's so far away. I want you, barrel. Come to me. Oh well. That's life, marooned out on the ocean. You just gotta relax and let stuff kinda happen. See, I need to keep a lookout for some extra wood as well. Yeah, look how quick you just take over this whole... place. It's almost instantaneous, really. And now I've got like a surplus of, of scrap, but like no wood. Go figure. Yeah, I mean, this game is- it, it needs to, to work on its pacing a little bit, and definitely to give you a goal to work up to. Because survival itself is a fine goal for like five minutes, but after that, you're gonna have to give me something else. If survival is this simple. And let's be honest, this is pretty simplistic survival. This is even more simplistic survival than playing Ark Survival. Like, in Ark, all you gotta do is just be near a berry bush, and then you can just kinda, like, 
cover yourself in, in berry goo and never be hungry ever again. So what do we got? We caught some scrap. Any... We're not catching a lot of wood, to be honest. Like, wood is not the thing that's spawning right now. I guess it's mostly spawning off to either side of the of the boat. So that's part of the problem. But eventually you could probably capture just about everything that's spawn- No, fuck you, Sharky. No, fuck you. You're not my real dad. Come here so I can stab you some more. You asshole. Yeah, I guess eventually you just stab the shark enough that he just dies and you get all of his meat. The delicious shark related beverages. Although, speaking of Ark Survival, back when I was thinking about doing a, a series for that with my friend Noob, I had a giant thing. We had two, um, Triceratops. One was called the Berry Tractor, which was designed to just, like, scoop up all the berries that exist in the freaking game. And then the other one was Thinderella, which I think was the most apt name for that type of a creature. Let's put all of our materials back in our inventory, and then let's put down our new office chair. Because, I mean, I am just the smoothest motherfucker now. I've got my own chair and everything, where I can sit in front of the fire and watch my food cook. Doesn't seem that you can sit in the chair. The chair is just a, a, a cosmetic item that you can run into, and that's about it. In fact, I'm going to destroy the chair, because apparently the chair serves no purpose but to get in my way. So eventually I'll craft a breakfast nook, but not, not today. And to destroy you, I have to get an axe. What was that? Is the shark back? No. Oh, okay, so now I just have the chair forever. Good to know. I got more potatoes. Let's plant some more beets. Might be able to craft something with beets later. And can you craft mul- or can you plant multiple things in the same planter? I guess you can. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Well, I think this will probably just be a two-episode series, because there's not a lot to do in this game. Maybe we'll make some walls? Or a ramp? Holy shit, ramps are fucking huge. Yeah, alright. Can I walk under it? Yes, I can. Alright, that's important to stab the shark. Yeah, we've pretty much already uh, survived and taken over this, uh, this world. So I guess that'll be it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. I've been your host, Larry. This has been some Raft. If you want to check this game out for yourselves and create your own utopia, Download it. It's free while it's in earliest of its development. And I'll catch you guys and gals next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and toodles. Now where the fuck are you, Chompy? I'm gonna stab the shit out of you, you butthole of a shark.